celebrates America with a special program saluting the bicentennial year. From the Myriad Convention Center in the heart of America, Oklahoma City, welcome to television's special annual salute to the 4th of July, the Stars and Stripes Show. Brought to you by the quality products of Thomas J. Lipton. Lipton, the brisk tea, wishbone salad dressing, Lipton soup mixes. and John Davidson. Special guest star, Anita Bryant. Charlie Pride. Astronaut Gene Cernan. Les Brown and his band of renown. The Strategic Air Command Band under the direction of Major Lauren Johnson. John Blackwell stars and stripes to bow. The dancing Cisco Wrangler Bell. The Mike Kirk Congregation. I'm just a flag waving American. I'm just a flag waving American. A liberty loving man fighting new variety. I love to sing the battle hymn and Yankee Doodle. I thrill to see your glorified heart. Oh, I'm just a flag waving American. Now, here's the host of your Stars and Stripes show, John Davidson. Kingler Bells. with Bob Hope.
and all of us, the little guys and the big guys alike, can still nurture a dream, roll up our sleeves and give it our best shot trying to make a go of it. You can knock our land 16 ways to Sunday and somehow or other it still keeps moving, shaking and bobbing up as the best way of life that anybody's thought of yet or lived through in the past. And now that we face the bicentennial year, the year that they take 200 candles and place them in the cake that says, happy birthday, Uncle Sam, I'd say it's time we hauled out the vitamins and gave our national pride a good dose of patriotism. Maybe we're a long way from the simple unabashed days of George M. Cohan, when a surefire way of ending your act was waving an American flag, but we can still do a tap dance, a salute, and a heel clicking over the fact that we got a lot going for us in this wonderful country, and there's a lot of good things ahead. Maybe a lot of people have forgotten a lot of foreign names of places where Americans died to preserve our liberty. Places like Anzio, Guadalcanal, Korea, Vietnam. But there's still Americans around who showed the stuff they were made of in these hot spots. And the people who served, preserved, and carried that thing called national pride to a new high. The American spirit is as strong and vital today as it was 200 years ago. That's why I'm confident that the problems we face today will be resolved and why this country remains the envy of the world. If anyone doubts it, they haven't traveled very far from home. I can assure you that they removed the walls, the barriers that keep people in in many countries around the world. They'd flock to this country by the millions, even if they had to swim. America is still a young country. Its future is unlimited. Our glorious past is America's gift to us. The future is our gift to America. On this day, we have a right to be proud of our country, but we should also dedicate ourselves to making it better. We're the example of the world, and we can't afford to stand still. We have an obligation to keep this nation as great as it has been in the past, and we have to set the pattern for generations that are following us to preserve this great country and the principles on which it was built. It's up to us to make our 200th and 300th birthdays as happy and as proud an occasion as this, our 199th birthday, and with God's help, we will. I have been to other lands and places far and near. I've traveled the road that leads to Mandalay. I've been to Rome and Paris and foggy London town. I've thrilled to their legend and story. I've seen The brisk tea, wishbone salad dressings, Lipton soup mixes, all quality products of Thomas J. Lipton. Stripe Show is an Oklahoma City Bicentennial Project of the Oklahoma City Association of Broadcasters. Galen Stacy speaking.